Hey guys, so I am going to teach you how to do this glamorous gothic look. Um, it's a little bit darker, a little bit more makeup than my last few tutorials, and I'm going to leave in the mistakes so you can watch the funnies. Um, yeah, but this is it, and I know the last couple videos haven't been makeup tutorials, I figured I needed a little bit of time to think of a new one because I pretty much do a new one every single day and uh, I incorporated a couple different elements from different gothic makeup I've seen the thicker brow and this is more of a that really thick dramatic cat eye and I did a big bold lip instead of just following my natural line I did sort of a bubbly lip and we put a little bit of stuff and there's just a teensy bit of contouring in black and white so it just gives you a little bit of that hollowed out cheek look and it makes you look a little bit more pale so sorry while I just mocked her so anyways on to the video I hope you enjoyed the last few videos I made, and ugh, makeup so itchy sometimes. So, those there'll be a little bit more videos like that to come, um, especially around Halloween and nearer to my birthday and stuff, because obviously on your birthday you've got to go shopping. Jeez. So, on to the video. So you know the drill. Prime that eye, and then the other eye. So there we go, all primed. Then we're going to take our liquid eyeliner, and we're just going to line the eye, and then make the shape for the cat eye. Then we're going to fill in our eyelid, as you can see, with the black eyeliner. It's one of those really dark, really dramatic cat eyes. Uh, you see it a lot um, in the gothic community. So, dun, dun, dun. Now with the next eye, I'm going to do it another way, just to give you two different options. Because not everybody does everything the same. So this time you're going to create a half moon and then fill it in with the eyeliner. Do do do, can take a little while. The liquid eyeliner is a bit messy. So, once you're done filling in the half moon, you then want to create your cat eye tip after I fix the boobs. Fix and fixing. And then go in for the cat eye shape. So, and then you just make a triangular shape that connects with a half moon and blend the edge in with the rest of the shape. There you go. Two different ways to do your eyeliner. And, um, and then we're going to use some black eyeshadow, and you're just going to go the rest of your eyelid into the crease and you're just going to press that black eyeshadow in and then blend out the edges. When you're done with that, you're going to take oh, a gray eyeshadow, gray, see, and then you're going to blend that into the edges of the black just so you have a nice gradient from black to gray. Then we're going to take a white and you're going to use that to highlight the brow bone and blend into the gray. We're going to use mascara because you want those lashes to stand out with all that black. So, and be nice and long. Okay, so then we're going to take some green sparkly eyeshadow or eyeliner 
and we're just going to line the top lash just to give it a sparkly and more glamorous effect. The eyeshadows are in fact shimmery, but this will give you a nice sort of like you're wearing gems on your eyelids. Because I don't have any uh, fake lashes at the moment, I'm going to go get some as soon as I can. So then we're going to take that eyeliner and we're going to fill in our eyebrows. Now I have my natural eyebrow shape, I've just thinned it out a bit. You want to fill that entire eyebrow in. Instead of making it look thinner, you want to make it look more natural and thick towards thin. You can make the corners into more of an, an angled brow, but that's about all I would do. You really want that nice thick look. Filling in the brow. Can you hear the lightning storm? Cool. Okay, then we're going to take the contouring brush and we're going to take black again and we're just going to brush that underneath our cheekbone to give our cheeks a little bit of a more hollow look. Of course, you want to do that on both sides. Okay, then we're going to line our lips with the black liquid eyeliner and then fill them in once you have the perfect shape you want. Just takes a moment, you just want to make that nice and smooth so that there's no um, pink areas left. Leave that like that. Or like me, you could mess it up and then have to wipe it off because it looks like junk. So there we go. I chose to do a more bow shaped lip and just fill it in. Do not press your lips together until the liner sets because in a moment you'll see there's gaps. See? <laughs> Skin. <laughs> so there we go. Fill that in again. And then we're just going to smudge that contouring in a little bit more. You want to get into your temple as well. Then we're going to make a little beauty mark. All you have to do is lightly take your eyeliner and poke it right wherever you want a beauty mark. Then I'm going to wipe off my brush and use white to highlight the top of the cheekbone just to make you look even more pale. There, that's it. That's all you gotta do. You have yourself a wonderful day. Hey guys, I hope. Oh, how many times does one have to say hey guys in a video? Really? me? Probably 800. So, that was the makeup. This is the face you'll get. Mmm, face. Mmm, face. So, yeah. Face. I hope it looks just as gorgeous on you, because I think this is a really... And I can't stop looking at myself in the mirror. If you notice in my videos, I have a mirror here, and a mirror here, like, right behind. And then, I have my makeup mirror and the mirror mirrorness. I have a little bit of a vanity problem. I like to make sure everything looks good. So, tell me what you think. Do you like it? Do you not like it? I use liquid eyeliner for a lot of things. My tutorials are going to be liquid eyeliner for the majority of them. So, yeah. I think it's gorgeous, gorgeous. My hair was being mean to me today, so it's just plain and blah. For a more glamorous look, you could tease it and spray it like ginormously in the air. Ooh, hello. This makeup makes my face look really long and skinny, and I, I know, guys, I'm not looking at you. Sorry about that. So, anyways. More tutorials to come. If you know what you'd like to see and what you want done, any sort of gothic looks that you've seen, um, I can see about doing that for you. 
I've been contemplating coloring my hair even though I really want it long. Tell me what you think. Um, I've only got two months to enjoy funky colors, so leave a comment below. And uh, if you like my videos, like and subscribe in the little box down there. There's almost a video every day. If there isn't a video every day, sometimes there's two videos in one day. So, yeah. Anyways, have a wonderful day and keep it creepy. <laughs> Bye, guys.